Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna check our glucose after eating Quest Hero Bars, and we'll find out the result right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So today we're going to do a glucose test on these Quest Hero Bars. People have asked about them. And the thing about these things is they're available almost anywhere. I mean, you, I've seen them in Target, Walmart, GNC. You can find them in even a lot of gas stations. So it is a good grab and go item when it comes to keto, or at least we think we do, because when you look at this on the front, it says 15 grams of protein, 11 grams of fiber, and only four net carbs. Only problem is this is the chocolate caramel pecan flavor. And on the back, it's got 27 total carbohydrates. So that is a lot of carbs. They are making it with allulose and uh, 11 grams of fiber. So it's got a lot of allulose. We've also got this other flavor here. This is the blueberry cobbler flavor. And this one has 30 total carbs. So yeah. Very, very high in total carbs. But again, if you're on the road and you grab something and you say, oh, look, it's only four net carbs. I can eat this. I think we need to know what this is going to do to our glucose level. So we're gonna do this one a little bit differently. I am wearing a continuous glucose monitor. This is the Dexcom 6. We're going to primarily use that to check it, but we are going to, just so you guys know, what my blood glucose is, because it's usually a little bit different than what the CGM says. We're gonna do a blood glucose stick, and then for the rest of the time, we will check the CGM. What I like about the CGM is I can see what it's doing the entire time, not just at the 30, out, the 30 minute, the one hour, and the two hour mark. So it is currently 8.27 in the morning, and according to the CGM, my glucose level is 81. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do one finger stick here just to see what the blood glucose level is. So we'll do this right. I'll do a little bit of alcohol on my finger. And I've got the Freestyle Libre um, actual, you can use this for CGM, but it also does have the glucose monitor on the bottom. So. This was calibrated this morning, so it should pretty closely match the blood one, but we'll see what it comes up with. The one thing I do like about the Dexcom is the Dexcom allows you to calibrate it, whereas the Freestyle Libre doesn't. Ooh, I got a lot of blood. Okay. Low battery. 81, okay. So let's pull out 81. We'll change the batteries while we're waiting for the next one. So 81 on here, 81 on here, we're good. So at the 30 minute mark, we're just gonna check the CGM and then we will possibly check the blood at the end. Okay, so which one are we going to eat? We're gonna eat chocolate caramel pecan or blueberry cobbler. Um, we're gonna go with the blueberry cobbler because I like a lot of chocolate caramel things. Never had this, never tried it. Kind of like shooting myself in the foot eating this this morning because yeah, a lot of carbs. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking I'm only gonna do half of this bar. So this is what it looks like. It looks just like a candy bar. It smells like a candy bar. So I'm gonna do half of it. Now, maybe I should do the full thing. Wow.
It is definitely like a cobbler, like a crunch inside. The outside is so sweet. It's almost like way too sweet for me. I feel like I'm eating pure sugar. Mm. I don't know, I'm gonna be able to eat all this. This is like pure sugar to me. Okay. It's gonna take me a little time to eat this one. I'm gonna put a time along the bottom when I actually finish eating it and we'll come back 30 minutes after that. But real quick, let's look at the ingredients on this. So first of all, the nutrition on this one bar is 170 calories. It is, the blueberry one is seven grams of fat. The other one is 11 grams of fat. I feel like I should have done the other flavor. It is 17 grams of protein, 30 total carbs, 10 grams of dietary fiber, four grams of erythritol, and 12 grams of allulose. So a little high in fiber for me, very high in total carbs. The ingredients in this are a, pl a protein blend, which is milk protein isolate and whey protein isolate, soluble corn fi fiber, which is a prebiotic fiber, allulose, palm kernel oil, erythritol, butter, water, contains less than 2% of natural flavors, sea salt, cinnamon, baking soda, palm oil, cellulose gum, xanthan gum, carrageenan, malic acid, color vegetable juice, sucralose, and sunflower lecithin. So right off the bat, I mean, it's got the soluble corn fiber, which some people like, some people don't. Doesn't bother me so much, so long as you're not using it just for a sweetener, which I feel like they are. Um, then it's got palm kernel oil. There's also carrageenan in it. So yeah, not the super cleanest ingredients, but again, grab and go. So I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'm gonna put across the bottom when I finished eating it and we'll come back 30 minutes after that. Okay, so I have this one bite left. I was trying to think of how to explain the sugar and it, it finally occurred to me. Do you guys remember the dots? like that, whatever that powdered sugar that were, it, when you would kind of like break it up or if you just put it on your tongue, it would sit there and it would kind of dissolve. That's kind of what this is like, this outside coating on here. So that's the last bite. I ate the whole bar. I didn't want to. I will say it's very chewy. It's very satisfying at least to eat. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever eaten these, if you've ever had this flavor. Not long, long, long time ago, when I first started keto, when these first came out, I remember having some of these, not this flavor, I had something like this, and I remember it being very, very, very similar to a candy bar. This was almost like a cross between a Quest bar and a candy bar. Very like cobblerly, not, I really tasted no blueberry at all. I tasted this, this white sweetness on the outside. It almost, you know, it, you know, here's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of fondant, which I'm not a fan of fondant. So like cake fondant, that's what it's like. Um, I didn't really taste any blueberry. I probably would have enjoyed this one more, but I wanted to go with the one that was the higher total carbs, especially considering they're both the same amount of net carbs. Okay, so it is, 8.39, so we're gonna come back in 30 minutes and just curious before we go, glucose is still holding steady on the CGM at 81, but we'll see what it's like in 30 minutes. It is 9.12, so a couple minutes late, but we're good, 9.12. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Dexcom, wow. I'm kind of shocked by this. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on the screen. Hopefully you can, but I will put a screenshot if you can't. It is at a 90. Let's do this because I was honestly expecting that to be a lot higher because honestly, that's like what, a nine point jump? A nine point jump is not a significant jump. I know some people are gonna say, oh, it moved. That doesn't mean anything because there's a margin of error to all of these. So like a nine point jump is really nothing. I mean, I've had, you know, like eating a piece of chicken give me a seven, eight, nine point jump. 
It's, it's really, I'm looking for 30, 40, 50 point jumps. And nine point jumps, not much. So we're gonna, even though I said we were just gonna go by the CGM, we're gonna test our blood glucose. Okay. I had already washed my hands, so here we go. Let's see if there's a difference because sometimes there's a little delay with the CGM over the blood. Sometimes the blood shows it a little bit faster. So I'm curious to see where we're at with the blood. Low battery. I forgot to charge the battery. <laughs> okay. So the blood's at an 87. So like again, not a significant jump. I'm like really shocked because this was like super sweet. Okay, we're gonna come back in one hour and see where we're at in an hour. Okay, one hour since we ate a Quest Hero Bar. 9.41, I don't know if that's focusing. 9.41, we'll open up the Dexcom. It is, I don't know if that's showing up on there, 85. It's really not moving. We'll go ahead and check the blood. I know I said I wasn't gonna check the blood, but we're gonna go ahead and check the blood again, but it's it's not moving. I mean, honestly, we started off in an 81, we got up to what, an 88, something like that, 88, I don't remember. Uh, it's up here on the screen. Back down at an 85, it's really not moving. This is my normal blood glucose. I gotta let it dry a little bit. Low battery, 78. So, um, I don't know, we'll come back in an hour just to double check it, but I'm honestly, 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 I am shocked. I really thought these things were going to just send my glucose levels through the roof. At 30 total carbs, I, do I think it's having an insulin spike? Absolutely, I think, you know, there's no way to test that at home. Uh, but just with the sweetness level that's in this, I don't care how like awesome your body is. I really feel like you're going to have some kind of cephalic insulin response because this thing is so sweet, but we'll talk about it when we come back in one more hour. Okay. Last one. It is 10 41 in the morning on Sunday. Let's go ahead and check the Dexcom. Dexcom is an 82. And a little reminder of where all of our numbers have been. I'll put that up on a screen. Uh, so yeah, looking at this, it's a pretty straight line. I mean, I'm honestly pretty happy with seeing this. It was that little tiny blip where it went up to about, you know, what was it, an 89? And then back down here to an 82. And like, that's pretty much what you want to see. Like there's a little gray box on this graph. You want to see it staying in that gray box. Since we've been doing it, let's go ahead and check the blood just to see where we're at. Now, the one thing I like about the, the Dexcom is that you can calibrate it. So I just put this one on this morning. And so usually the first day you have to calibrate it a couple times. Like when I first put it in, it said my glucose reading was 100. Then you do a blood test and you enter into the app what your blood test one is, which at the time it was like 79 or something like that. Then you come back and you do that like 30 minutes later and now the meter is like, okay, this is where the glucose is in relation to like the, the fluids. And so that's what we're gonna say your glucose is. So I like that about that. And usually I have to do that a couple times on the first day. So I would not be shocked to see this meter off by, you know, six, seven, eight points. Okay. It's gonna say low battery since I still haven't charged the battery. Low battery, 82. So we're right, again, right in line. I honestly, I'm I, like I said, I'm really shocked. I really thought that, I, I, I was honestly coming into this going, oh, no problem. We're gonna have a product that's going to just like completely elevate your glucose and nobody will ever touch this product after seeing this test. I really was expecting my glucose to shoot way up over 100, probably like 110. Like I really, 
did not expect to see this with this at all. And again, my results are gonna be different than your results. Everybody's body is a little bit differently. So I would definitely say if you're going to eat these, I would test your blood glucose or test, you know, if you have a CGM, just check it on there um, because everybody does act differently. Honestly, I probably still wouldn't eat these. And uh, again, that's just me. Uh, unless I was just like super hungry and I needed something and like this was on the shelf. It was, if it was this versus a regular Quest Bar, knowing what I know now, I would probably go for this just because it's tastier. Um, but my problem with this is, is honestly the total carbs, like 27 total carbs in this one. The other one, the one that I actually ate was 30 total carbs. I mean, that that is more carbs than I want to eat in a day. And I know we talk about net carb and total carb, but that's why. Because yeah, if this is four net carbs, so technically if, you, if you're trying to stay under 20 carbs, you could eat five of these. I don't care who you are. If you eat five of these in a day, you are going to have a problem on keto. That's my personal opinion, but I'm telling you, try eating five of these and then see how well you're doing on keto. Like you will get knocked out of ketosis. You can't eat that much allele, aside from the fact that you're gonna have some bathroom issues. Uh, so that's why we do that. But that's more total carbs than I'm willing to have in a day unless it's a dessert day. So I personally wouldn't eat it. And then you add in the fact like, I'm not really keen on the palm kernel oil. But again, everybody's different. Some people don't mind these things. Is it dirty keto? Yes. Do I have a Quest Bar or something like that once in a while? Absolutely I do. Usually though, I'm probably gonna eat a Quest Bar over this just because the Quest Bars are a little bit lower in the carbs. It is nice to see that they didn't raise my glucose level though. So that's that. Um, let me know down in the comment section if you've ever had the Quest Hero Bars. Let me know if you which one is your favorite flavor. Also let me know if You've done a glucose test on yourself after eating the Quest Hero Bars and what were your results like? So let me know if there's any other products that you would like to see us use a glucose test on. Again, Rachel's not here because number one, she wasn't willing to eat that many total carbs and number two, she does try to stay away from like all of these different really sweet things because it triggers her. So I become the guinea pig for it. But that is our video for today. So please do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell button so that you're notified whenever we upload new videos. And until next time, bye.